Stacey Dash, who's best known for her turn as Dion Davenport in the 90s classic Clueless, has found herself on the wrong side of the law. The former actress was arrested in Pasco County, Florida for an alleged case of domestic violence on Sunday, September 29th, following a reported incident involving her lawyer husband, Jeff Marty. According to a police report obtained by The Blast, the married pair reportedly were involved in a verbal argument at around 7.45 p.m. at an apartment in the city of Newport Ritchie. Dash is alleged to have pushed Marty, scratched him, and slapped him in the face. Cops reportedly arrived on scene after the argument had escalated. According to the Pasco County Sheriff's police report, the victim sustained red scratch marks to his left upper arm from being pushed. The report did not indicate drugs or alcohol as being a factor during the alleged incident. However, it should be noted that a source cited by TMZ has since claimed that Dash had allegedly acted in self-defense during the argument. According to TMZ's report, Stacy's husband attacked first, attempting to choke Stacy, and she defended herself, which resulted in him getting scratches on his arms. TMZ went on to report that Dash was supposedly the person who called the police in the first place, and that she was arrested because she didn't have any visible injuries, unlike her husband, who reportedly did. I'm not trying to hear that! Neither Dash nor her reps immediately made a public statement on the former movie star's arrest and domestic violence charges. Dash was reportedly still in police custody at the Pasco County Land O'Lakes detention facility when the news broke, being held on a $500 bond. Dash's walk down the aisle with Jeff Marty marked her fourth marriage, with the 52-year-old actress and cultural commentator secretly tying the knot with him in early April 2018. The couple's big day supposedly took place about a week and a half after they met, but the wedding news didn't break to the wider public until that October. At the time, the former actress's rep told Page Six that she and Marty, a fellow supporter of President Donald Trump, quote, wanted to keep their nuptials on the down low. According to Us Weekly, Dash was previously hitched to producer Brian Lavelle, with whom she shares a 16-year-old daughter, Lola, between 1999 and 2005. Dash, who also has a 27-year-old son named Austin with ex-boyfriend Christopher Williams, later entered into a one-year marriage with entrepreneur James Mabby. After the two split in 2006, Dash tied the knot with actor Emmanuel Zareb in 2009, but called it quits two years later. Meanwhile, BuzzFeed News has reported that Marty is a father to three children from a previous marriage. So what else is there to know about Jeff Marty? Well, details of his year-long marriage to Dash have been kept largely under wraps. However, BET reports that Marty was previously best known for creating a Twitter account for a fictional congressman from Georgia by the name of Stephen Smith. A what? In addition to being the first so-called congressman to endorse Donald Trump for his 2016 run for presidency, Marty reportedly used this fake social media account to spread serious rumors and allegations about the former Apprentice star's then-political rival, Hillary Clinton. Anyone who's paid attention to Stacey Dash's post-clueless career knows that her professional aspirations took a pretty surprising turn for the political. In more recent years, this former actress has become best known for her conservative beliefs, making herself known both as a pundit and an aspiring politician. She had a short-lived turn as a Fox News commentator, and also ran an even briefer campaign for Congress as a Republican in California's 44th District. It gives her a sense of control in a world full of chaos. After announcing her plan to run in February 2018, Dash withdrew from the race late the following month, notably just a few days before tying the knot with Jeff Marty. Dash stated at the time, My goal was and remains to improve the lives of people who have been forgotten for decades by the Democratic Party. At this point, I believe that the overall bitterness surrounding our political process, participating in the rigors of campaigning, and holding elected office would be detrimental to the health and well-being of my family." That said, Dash hasn't exactly been immune to stirring up controversy prior to her recent legal trouble. The author of the memoir, From Clueless to Conservative, often incited backlash among the Twitter sphere during her Fox News tenure before she was ultimately fired from the network in early 2017. Well, there goes your social life. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!